Wow, look at this, absolutely freezing. It was minus 18 up here in Mid Wales uh, last night, it said on the news, so I've got to believe them. It feels absolutely freezing still, I can tell you. Uh, I'm going to have a little look around the field, but to be honest, it's it's too misty and it's too cold for that, it's like freezing fog. So what I'm going to try and do is, there's some little tiny cold tits coming down onto the feeder at the moment, and some blue tits, which everyone knows, and I'm going to try and take some good pictures of those and good action pictures, uh, try and freeze them in, in flight, if you pardon the pun. Uh, let's hope. Lots of these blackbirds, blue tits, now coming down to the feeder. Obviously, it's because it's cold, but it's also mainly because the berries, like, like these hawthorn berries, and all the insects that are in the grasses normally, they're all completely frozen over at the moment. So food is in pretty short supply. There are still some things, obviously, that manage to feed whatever the weather, like this pheasant that comes to the feeder, but he scratches his way down to the insects and the leaves and the seeds, whatever it's like. Not all the animals are quite so well adapted to the snow, obviously. But one thing it is at the moment is absolutely beautiful. It's the most fantastic light if the sun comes out for a few seconds. And even down by the pond where I've been filming the dragonflies and the swallows back in the summer, now it's all peaceful and quiet and looks beautiful because all the birds are up in the feeder at the moment. That was a lot of fun. <clears throat> it took me a bit longer than I thought, nearly. Three hours I've been out here now, off and on, and I think I've taken about 2,000 photos, but I think at the end I've got at least two or three good ones that I hope are going to look pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's blooming freezing. Okay. So many beautiful birds coming down on the feeder. All of them are pretty familiar at the moment. Blue tits, chaffinches. And the one I've been really trying to catch is the uh, coltit, which did come down, but he tended to nip down and didn't hang around for long. I managed to get one shot of him here, down on the seed, and then there he is in the branches as well. But the photo that I was really after was one of him flying, which was proving a little bit difficult to get. But I have got one here of him coming in to land on the corn. Fantastic, just what I was after. And to end off an absolutely fantastic day, getting cold and taking photos in the snow, just at the end of the day, when there was a little tiny bit of sunshine, I managed to see my resident barn owl coming down to hunt down by the pond, hunting for voles. And even though he dived down there, I, I did actually see he came up with a vole, so he has got something to eat. Absolutely beautiful, and I'm hoping to make him uh, the subject of my next film on Wild About Films. Thank you for watching and if you visit the website you can download the films and you can also download the photographs as well.